What's going on everybody? Um, today's a Wednesday, the 26th, I believe. Um, second day of the pay period. Okay. I'm sitting here waiting, uh, letting Big Daddy, uh, you know, warm up and everything. But I want to talk to y'all about yesterday, man. So um, I think I told y'all already, but um, my goal is 4K a week. That's gross. If I do 4K gross a week, I'll bring home about um, between 25 to 26 or 24 to 26 hundred dollars, depending on how much I fuel. So, um, pretty much on that, I need to make about $800 a, a day. It's pretty much what I need. Now, I would prefer to make a thousand dollars a day, you know, but just sometimes how the loads uh, add up, man, it, it just it just isn't there. So, yesterday, man, I was hustling my butt off yesterday, and um, yesterday I grossed. Um, $2,100 yesterday Just one day That's off of four loads I did um, one load that was six fifty dollars That went from Orange to Houston Then I backdoored and picked up another load out of Pasadena That went came out to Viter That was 600 And then I hopped on my short run um, 3.6 miles I got that one for 450 And then I backdoored and hit my dedicated run yesterday um, on that dedicated run, man, they was they was waiting on me because I kept telling them like, hey, just go ahead and send them home, man. I was just gonna be late. They had traffic. They had an accident. Or they had a, a bad accident on I ten. You know, so you know they closed at three o'clock, and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna make it, man. He that broker had them folks stay open till after five o'clock till I got there, man. So um, yeah, and then but my third load, which was a three mile run, that one the shipper ended up refusing that load, man. So. Um, this broker so-called himself sending me only fifty dollars more, so um, I'm like, yeah, I gotta get on his ass today because I'm um, yeah, that's that, that's an insult. I don't play that. Oh, so yeah, man. Um, we was hustling yesterday. Um, I could actually take it easy, but I'm not going to. Obviously, um, you know, obviously the name of the game is to make the most money that I can. All right, sorry about that, man. I had a phone call come in. But um, I'm pretty much sitting here at the receiver of the dedicated run that I um, pulled for this um, one broker. And um, can't sit in your truck. You gotta um, be inside to have like a little driver's lounge, which is where I'm sitting at now. Um, Y'all can't really see, but in that little crack right here, you can see the forklift and my trailer is actually right there, Big Daddy, you know. So um, yeah, man, um, like I said, we was hustling our butts off yesterday. Um, I did call, get in touch with that broker who tried to send me $50. And, you know, I just pretty much told him straight up. I said, look here. I said, uh, once I hit a dock, that load is delivered. And because um, that receiver just refused that load, I had to get out of that dock and then go drive the miles back and deliver that load. And he was like, oh, man, but um, the broker said it was, it was, I thought that guy was the broker, but I don't know, maybe two different people, I don't know. But he was like, yeah, they said it's only three miles. I said, yeah. I said, but I don't charge by the mile. I charge by the work that I do. I said, I wasn't even charging you mileage. I said, um, whenever I do that, um, it's definitely not no fifty dollars. I told him straight up. I said I took that as an insult. So he was like, well, "What you looking for?" I said, "That's that's that's one fifty right there." Um, anytime I have to do a, a second stop or a double dock or whatever, that's automatically one fifty added on top, and that that's not even including the mileage. And I said, "I'm not charging you no. I'm not charging you for three miles." So he was like, "Oh well, I'll see what we can do, but um, I can't make any guarantees." And so I told him straight up. I said, "Look here, man. I said this isn't the first time." that um, y'all tried to play me. I said, um, this is technically your, your second strike. I'm not a three strike person. So if we can't get this resolved, I said, not the company itself, but me personally, I will no longer run your freight. That's just me personally. And, um, and the reason I said that is because that particular broker's loads, their loads be on the load board all day. Like their loads don't move. So I've hauled three loads. The, the loads that I've seen of theirs, I've hauled it for them, you know. And it was one load I was trying to haul from them for them. Um, negotiated 650, which is pretty much what I run for. From um, Beaumont to Houston or Beaumont to Baytown, whatever. I typically run that for 650. If I'm desperate, I run it for 600. Um, you know, but that's typically what I run for. And um, we negotiated on a 650 rate. And he transferred me to some lady who was like, yeah, the best I can do is 500. I said, well, the guy, when the guy already negotiated 650, I don't understand why you're trying to tell me 500. Yeah, I don't know. The best we can do is 500. I said, okay, so it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it, you know. And I didn't run that low for them. So that was strike one. And then with this bull crap, they tried to pull it. I only paid me $50. Nah, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't finna accept that. 
So, um, yeah, we got that situated. So, as far as yesterday, uh, my yesterday's gross was $2,200 um, for this pay period. Yesterday was the first day of the pay period. Today is Wednesday. Um, as of right now, I only got one run so far because the other loads that I've called on, they either aren't paying or, um, you know, it's some stupid stuff. Pick up today at 9 o'clock in the morning, drive 100 miles, and deliver tomorrow morning. Like, no, that don't make any sense. I'm not going to sit on that. So um, I'm just pretty much sitting here waiting. I'm already getting unloaded. But once I get unloaded, man, I'm going to go ahead and head home. Um, where I'm delivering at now, I'm exactly seven minutes from where I parked my truck. So, um, you know, I don't, I'm not going to sit out here and be all crazy and have to wait all day. If I'm going to wait, I'm going to be at home. I've always said, man, if I'm not going to be, if I'm not making any money, sit, I'm not going to sit in the truck and not make money. I'm going to be at home. So um, that's what we got going on for today. Like I said, I hustled my butt off yesterday, man. I was running. Um, Big Daddy was pretty much like, hey, you need to chill out. But, um, you know, I did. we did what we did. Um, so today, I only did one of my local runs today, or one of my dedicated runs today. So that's just 350. That ain't nothing. Um, I did, for the first time, did see a load on the load board that required a truck to be food grade and no older than 10 years old. So that was the first time I seen a load of that nature on the load board. Um, yeah, so, and that load was paying pretty good, 100 miles for $1,100. 100 miles for $1,100. I would have loved to pull that run for them, but I mean, hey, <laughs> my trailer's a 99. It's also not a food grade trailer. But for the most part, man, I mean, hey, I don't have any complaints. I'm loving this. Um, like I said, I could take it easy, but I'm not trying to. You know, but I mean, hey, um, I'm watching the load board, man. I stalked this thing. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell y'all. Oh, yeah. Like I said, we did the damn thing. So for the first run was 650. Second run was 600. Third run was 600. And then the last run was 350. That's what I did yesterday. And then today I got up and did this little short run. When like I said, it's only a short run. Uh, loaded miles is supposed to be like five miles in reality it's like eight and a half or nine miles because it's construction so you gotta the exit you're supposed to take to get here um the bridge that you cross over is actually like they they, they, they knock it down so you got to go down to the next exit make a u-turn come off the highway then make another u-turn on the, on the little service road or whatever so it's, it's a lot of crap but it, it ain't that like bad so uh yeah that's pretty much all it is man that's what we got going on um you know Honestly, I wish every day could be like this, man. If I could make $2,000 a day being home every day, I would love to do it. But like I said, just sometimes the lows just, they either don't line up or they just don't add up, you know, or they're not there, you know, just period. You know, um, like I've stated before, um, trying to pull out of Beaumont strictly without having the deadhead in Houston, I don't have many options, you know. But, I mean, hey, I work with what I have. So if, if I had to, if, I mean, like if I woke up one day and there was not one load coming out of Beaumont, then yeah, I did head to Baytown or houston laporte whatever you know and um you know we would go from there um honestly that was my original plan when i first started driving big daddy this year was to just deadhead in houston every day but like i said I, i've made decent money just being out of beaumont man you know it is what it is so um yeah man that's what it is man i'm i hustle man um i know so i i i, I may make it seem like i take it easy on myself or you know but i mean like i said man if the lows aren't there they're not there but if they're there and I can run it, hey, I'm going to book them, man, and I'm going to get them done. You know, and like I said, I try to run smart, not hard. So um, that's pretty much how we got it going down. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, man, you can drop them in the comment section below. Uh, you want to get in contact with me, truckingwithbigdaddy at gmail.com. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. But I will leave a side note to you guys, man. Um... What I'm doing as far as self-dispatching myself, I wish every driver out there that's an owner-op or planning to be an owner-op got to experience this, man, because this right here is amazing. Um, it's now been four people that I've spoken to at my company that when they find out I'm home every night, they're in shock. They're like, you're home every night? I say, yeah, I'm home every night off on the weekends. You know, that's just how, that's how I run it. You know, I don't have no, oh, well, we need you to make a certain amount of money you know what I'm saying, for you to be leased on to our company, I don't have to worry about any of that, you know. And um, another side note, they allow you to bring a, a day cab over here. So with what I'm doing, I'm heading to the auction on February 15th, just putting that out there. So um, whenever I find out, I guess when you can go look at the equipment early before the auction is, I may record it or something like that. But 
you know, my goal for this year was to have three trucks running. And um, honestly, I prefer it to be sleepers, but because of what I got going on, I'm trying to get cool with some of these brokers to where I can get something, you know, more dedicated and more consistent, you know, hey, I'm gonna rock with a, a, at, least, um, at least two day cabs. So if I can get two day cabs um, come February 15th when that auction is, um, I think I got like four of them saved in my favorites or something like that. If I can knock down at least two of them, man, um, we'll go ahead and make it shake. If I can get one of them, you know, we'll make it shake. If I don't get any of them, hey, it is what it is. Um, the day cabs are a little overpriced on Facebook, you know, but I would prefer to get them on Facebook, just being honest with you. If I can speak to the person that either last drove it or the person that last owned it, you know, where I can get more service records or just a rundown, you know, if it's something you got to pay attention to. Uh, you know, when you go buy something from the auction, it's pretty much what you see is what you get. You know, some of them, if they have paperwork, they'll have it up there, but a lot of them won't have the paperwork on it. So, um, yeah, man, that's my little giblets for you guys, man. Um, we're out here. Not out here, out here, but we out here in Beaumont between Houston, man. That's pretty much how I run, man. I'm loving it. Um, once again, I'm not trying to find my freedom, man. I've already found it, man. Just putting it out there. Um, but like I said, hey, y'all know the spiel. Do the YouTube stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next video.